what's up thanks again this is dream house bio digesters another coronavirus era video right now we have a lot of time on our hand so we are dedicating it to doing videos that when you are back on your feet again then it gives you the reason why you must install a bio digest my name is jerry edu asari and in this video we are going to talk about the reason why you don't need a vent pipe on your bio digester so this is the vent right and then this is the digester why do we say you shouldn't put a vent pipe on a bio digester the simple reason is that bio digesters use anaerobic digestion and anaerobic digestion means that you don't need the vent on the digester because the digester only works in the absence of oxygen. When I was doing the research for this story, I came across some pictures and of course some videos of biodigesters that have a vent pipe on them. And then I was thinking probably those who are doing those installations do not understand the technology and what it is exactly that this biodegradable technology or biodegradable biodigesters work. Let me give you a, a background. There have been a few occasions where I've been asked why I did not or why I do not put vent pipes on my bio digesters. And I've had to explain to either a plumber or the homeowner the reason why we don't put vent pipes on bio digesters. So stay with us in this video. I'm going to give you the reasons why the next time that you see a bio digester that has got a vent on it then you should know that it wasn't done well and it might not work as it's supposed to. So stay with us. So the question of why vent pipes are on the bio digesters are not a question that must be that must arise in the first place. We once did the bio digester for a client. When we had finished our work and it was time for the plumber to do the connection. He put a vent pipe on the bio digester. After a few days, up to a week, when the digester was being used by the homeowner, I received a call and the homeowner was like, why is there so much scent in my compound and in my house? And I could not answer. So what I did was to do a quick U-turn from where I was going and go back to his house and then check out the reason why probably there's dust and smelly or there was a scent in the house. When I got there, I realized that the plumber had put a vent pipe on the biodigester and that was what was giving the scent in the house. There's a reason for that. And the reason being that when you do a biodigester and then you put a vent pipe on it, the technology that is supposed to work in this circumstance or in this instance will not work. Remember in one of our earlier videos, we defined biodigesters as biodegradable systems that turn solid waste into organic manure for a safe disposal into the environment. We said they are used as part of the process of treating biodegradable toilet waste water and sewage sludge with a process often referred to as anaerobic digestion. Natural composting organic manure are introduced to treat all organic biodegradable materials through the natural process of anaerobic decomposition. So there are two major types of technology used for wastewater treatment. There is aerobic systems and then there is anaerobic systems. Simply put, there is aerobic decomposition process and there is anaerobic decomposition process. Each of these technology or systems have different uses. 
The truth is, whether it is aerobic or anaerobic treatment, each treatment system or technology has its place in the world today. But they are very different in the process they both use to achieve total degradation and as such must meet the regulations set by the environmental agencies that regulate what is released into the ground or water. Aerobic wastewater treatment is a process where bacteria utilize oxygen to degrade organic matter, generally quantified as biochemical oxygen demand. Aerobic digestion is present everywhere that organic matter decomposes in the open air and with an abundant air circulation and it's typically used in an activated sludge treatment plant. Remember the septic tank system? On the other hand, anaerobic digestion is a sequence of processes by which microorganisms break down biodegradable material in the absence of oxygen. Populations of anaerobic microorganisms typically take a significant period of time to establish themselves to be fully effective. So if the installer intends to use oxygen for the biodegradation process, then of course it makes sense to put a vent on the tank to provide oxygen for it. So let's do a small comparison. In an anaerobic digestion, gaseous oxygen is prevented from entering the system through physical containment in cell tanks. Anaerobes access oxygen from sources other than the surrounding air. The oxygen source for these microorganisms can be the organic material itself or alternatively may be supplied by inorganic oxides from within the input material which includes the fiber, hay, organic manure and the bioenzyme which is the chemical for the treatment of the human solid waste. This is to say that the oxygen source in an anaerobic system is derived from the organic material itself. Why then do some by digester in salads, ignorantly put a vent pipe on a digester if the source materials are going to do this or they are already doing this. In an aerobic system such as composting, the microorganisms access free gaseous oxygen directly from the surrounding atmosphere, hence the need for a vent pipe. Aerobic processes use bacteria that require oxygen, so air is circulated throughout the treatment tank. This aerobic bacteria then break down the waste within the wastewater. Solid waste that the bacteria are unable to process settle out as sludge, which in some months or years will have to be evacuated by a truck. Some aerobic treatment systems include a secondary settling tank to facilitate this settling process. The final treatment processes prepare the water for return to the environment, which in the case of a septic tank is the soak away, usually the third chamber. We recommend that you do a vent pipe on the building that's if one has already not been installed. It will serve both the house and digester in case you are worried about any scent coming from the biodigester, which in most cases will not happen. Also, if an installer and a plumber or homeowner insist on a vent on their digester, tell them what you are doing is not a septic tank. Biodigesters do not require vent pipes because of the process of anaerobic digestion. So here's a quick summary of all that we have said. Anaerobic wastewater treatment is carried out by anaerobic microorganisms and that's what all simple on-site biodegradable digesters are supposed to do. That is to say that the technology that works best for such a system. Aerobic wastewater treatment process occurs without an oxygen supply. The key difference between aerobic and anaerobic wastewater treatment is that in aerobic wastewater treatment, the tanks are constantly supplied with oxygen, whilst in an anaerobic wastewater treatment, gaseous oxygen is prevented from entering into the system. So if someone demands a vent pipe be put on your biodigester after it has been installed, or why is there no vent pipe on your biodigester, they are asking the wrong question and probably do not understand how the technology around biodegradable toilet waste by digesters work. The only advice we give around vent pipes is that under normal circumstances, the toilets in the house will have or will require vent pipes or vents to help ease scents coming into the washroom in case of clogging. That's clogging of the pipes and that's what's required for the building. If they were not done at the time of the construction of the building, then some can be put on the lines outside the building itself 
and the ones that are leading directly into the bio digester but they must not be put on the bio digester so under normal circumstances this vent pipe should not be on the wall it should be inside the wall so that it will show up outside with a cap at the top of the building uh, but because most plumbers do not do the right thing that's why you see them showing out like this uh, and then it's not good for the eye i mean it doesn't look nice on the building and it doesn't make the building look professionally done 